what I know, what I've noticed is that all the presidential conference on math, science, engineering, and technology. Uh, I hardly see black students there. I see white students. I see Asian students, Japanese and Chinese, and so on. And um, it's interesting because I, I think that uh, most things should reflect uh, the community. Now, I mean, I'm not naive, and I'm saying that perhaps uh, these people have a tradition of innovation. The parents talk with innovation. Uh, the country that the people have come from, the motherland, they're innovative and they seem to be progressive and so the citizens are sort of duplicating that in their own little lives and so on. So what about African Americans? And uh, I'm saying that it's a mixture. It's a mixture because in the black communities, um, scholarship don't seem to be recognized and rewarded parents talking stupid stuff, um, just, you know, like in Chicago where that scholarly guy was uh, beaten up and killed and so forth, um, I can't remember his name, but uh, uh, for snitching or whatever, um, he was a brilliant guy on a, on a roll and so on, um, and then um, they more likely into rap, um, said trivial talk about this and bitch and shoot up the place and all that stupidness and um, generally drugs is pre prevalent in the area, but still there, there are black families in there that don't do all that stuff, so I still expect that even in Skid Row or down the hood or in projects, whatever, that there's still black people who aren't necessarily following the trend. Um, but um, I, I think that uh, there should be a concerted effort because uh, there are things that I'm sure black people are thinking about that whites and Asians aren't thinking about because, see, Invention is the mother, uh, necessity is the mother of invention, and there are myriad necessities in the black community that perhaps um, an innovative product might make a difference. Now, it's, it's, the question is whether uh, the whites want this to happen, whether they want blacks to have a comfortable life, or whatever. Now, I've already talked that blacks, whites, uh, yellow people have been slaves. They have enslaved each other, they have been slaves. So, this is time to forget all that stuff and let us work together. Everything seems to be collapsing right now, and um, we need to get ideas from wherever we can. Um, for example, I mean, in the last elections in 08, and even in this election here with, with um, Mitt Romney, uh, most of the white folks were talking in terms of uh, uh, pulling up by bootstraps and, 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 and let the weak uh, fail and so on. And um, we see where a black president came out and said, you know what, I love my country so much that I think that if a country is, is having a difficult time, um, I will give them a loan and, 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 and in good faith to be going to support them and, and things going to you know get better. And it did happen. So uh, what then about trying to inc in, incorporate, not necessarily because we have a black president, but just because it's smart strategy. Get them in, see what new products they can bring online. Hey, it could extend our commerce and our competitiveness. But I'm telling you what. I was driving the school bus in Florida, and they have a gifted program, and uh, I was driving for the gifted program. I go and pick up them at their schools, drop them off to this gifted program, pick them up, drop them back home. Now, I don't know what the gifted program was. I think the criteria to teach you how to have a master's degree. And uh, as I said, I don't know what the program entails and so forth, but I noticed that one guy was on my bus, this white guy, and he looked at the parking lot and saw about five cars, same mate, same car, and say, hey, look at that over there. So apparently, what they discovered, and they're doing in the group gifted program, is that you could teach people how to be gifted, I guess. Uh, you could teach them the strategy to be smart and innovative, and uh, this is what this guy was doing. And to an extent, it seems as though it works, but i never been into no gifted program. I should have been, because, you know, I was doing well, and, and I went into the lesson that they offer, the extra lesson after school, and I tore up all these... Uh, fire chief son and police chief son and daughter and all them big shots in the city. The kids, you know, I, I was excellent in the things that I learned, the math and, and so on. But, I mean, my environment was so poor, I couldn't eat well, I ain't got no clothes, I ain't got no books, I can't study good. It's like the lights turn off, nothing to eat and whatever. So, I really couldn't compete with them. Now, I know the government had a, a, a program where they were trying to get me involved, people were meeting me and encouraging me along the line, and as I thought of it afterwards, these could have been government people that the government sent out, because you see, in my first year in school, I brought first, 
I got a thing about all right, 100%. And uh, they were letting ministry know of that. And I demonstrated certain things as I go along that teachers, you know, I mean, black country black teachers, they, they tell the ministry, this guy here, you know, whatever. I recall, though, um, a, a guy came from the ministry, a man came from the ministry of education, and uh, he called me. They got a teacher to call me and say, I want you to go out and play out there. And um, I said, well, I ain't going to play by myself. He said, what do you want? I said, well, I need some things and I need some other students. So he said, okay, get what you need. So I got two girls and another, another guy with me. I got them ropes and I got, I think it was a ball for me and the guy. And we start playing and I, you know, tell them what they need to do. Go ahead, do that. And this guy and I, and the guy called me and he said, okay, I'll come inside. And, um, you know, so through my life, they've been trying to get me into a program that I probably could have still gone on to London, Oxford, and Cambridge. When I was working, this guy came from the country and he would he was working with my place. He encouraged me, let us go and do evening classes. You can write our subjects. You get your five, you go on and write your advance, get some more, and then whatever. But they were trying to get me into the program. However, I mean, I haven't been in a program, and I think that I'm brilliant. I think that I've come up with some products that white folks are making a whole bunch of money on. Um, this clean co burning technology, the... Um, that in America and in Canada they call it uh, carbon sequestration. That is my baby. I put it together. Okay. No, I'm telling you about Florida uh, program though. Um, a guy like me should have probably been teaching in the program because I have experience. But then again, you can't teach it. I don't think that you could teach brilliance. It has to happen by on the individual. And um, perhaps God gives the person certain insights and based on the person's uh, diligence and hard work and so on. He works with them and so forth and so on. So if they have kids that are kind of evil, forget it. They're going to be in all the gifted program, but they're just going to end up getting special treatment, going to the top schools, and end up just being a loser at the end of life. Just going to get a job, smoking, and just and doing nothing. I should follow, you should follow these gifted program kids, see what they did in life. But this black guy was in this gifted program, and this teacher will come out and wait with him, and she's harassing him all the time. You don't finish the work, you do this, you do that, you mix, and, you, and she's going on with this guy. And the guy almost crying, you know. And um, he showed me, he said, well, you know, I, I found out that uh, his mom, you know, he wasn't living with his mom, he's living with his grandmother, and so on. But she, she kept up every time, and she said, I'm going to get you out of this program because you're not doing what needs to be done. And no white guy, she's doing that. So I'm quite confident that the white guys in that program, they got in there because the parents, you know, do money for the school and do this and that and whatever, and they got in, and they are not up to the program. But you know what, she can help them with the work, call them up and get them the answers and all that stuff, you know what I mean? And, and and that's so wrong. So I think that, and I don't think this president could do it, I think as a people we need to do it and say, look, it, it, it's not looking good. I mean, no blacks in this program and uh, we have all these black people in this country here. And if we can show that black people are progressive and making it anywhere, then you have a hopeless set of people, you're gonna have some serious problems in hand. So I, I recommend, and as after looking at this picture, this is how the idea is. The president is there, he's black, but he's not in the gifted program. He's not inventing anything on that level. He's not a child. You see what I'm saying? And um, we need to do this. We need to do something to get black folks, children, encouraged into, you know, the competition, innovating, and discovering, and, and creating, and all that kind of stuff. And, and you'd be surprised to know that maybe the product's going to, uh, uh, we increase by a third because we have only whites and, and Asians so far doing stuff. If blacks come online, we have more products. We have more ideas. We have more stuff. And um, so far, I think that a lot of blacks are doing your men's work out here, but these white folks got you in the background, take your ideas, and then come up and talking like you're smart, like, oh, look, I'm so brilliant. And we don't know about that black person. I'm going to have enough of him. And they make all the money, you know, to just put them on drugs and just them in the, in, in the hood and, and that's the end of it. So we need to make a concerted effort to include blacks into all these programs here because I'm telling you, uh, that's the only way to go, man.